What's up, people? Welcome back to HitTheBid.net. Say what? Say who? Yeah, the show used to be called something else, if you haven't tuned in. What happened was the NASDAQ is called. What's that? The NASDAQ. The governing body and all that great stuff. Yeah, you know, I was using their name. And they want it back. It's all right. I got no problem with that. My grandmother has no problem with that. All the ladies that didn't want to be involved in my show when I tell them the name of the company, now I don't have to worry about it. Now that you down, now that you just have me explain the name. What does hit the bid mean? What does that mean? Regardless, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about to ensure that for a second there, Monday was awesome. We went to the trade show running around with the girls. And then uh, Tuesday I was in a coma. Wednesday I went to work actually. Sat down in the chat room for just a brief moment. Now the story of how this whole thing was born was that once I realized it's not a coincidence that every time I sell out of a stock it goes up and that every time I think I know what I'm talking about I could turn a company to crap and if I buy a company that's awful and everybody's saying to get rid of it and I do a quick trade in it, I save companies. I'm just a liberator of companies. But there I thought the magic powers were, 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 were you know, the, the, the lightning bolts were coming out of my fingers. So I sat down and did one trade, Limelight, LLNW. Got in at $6.11, sold it at $6.31 for a 20 cent profit. Immediately got into the chat room, said this is what I did. People wanted to know what I got out at, I said $6.31, they got in. People are buying stocks as soon as I sell out of them. You'd think, if I'm the smart one, that's something stupid, because if I'm selling out of it, generally that's not a good thing, but here's the catch. Not smart, not lucky, awful. Hit the bid, that's what it's all about. 80% of the time I sell out of a stock, it continues to go up. I don't know, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. But there it was, limelight. It pulled back another 15 cents after that gentleman got in or a few people got in in the chat room. And you know, I'm always concerned. I don't want anybody losing money following this folly because this is just a joke anyway. Can you really take it serious? It's ironic. That's what I always tell you. We're here to have a good time. Yeah, I can tell you what's happening. I'll give you some good ideas to look at. But again, I don't tell you you must get into these things. These are guarantees. I'm saying this is a fucking nightmare that I live, okay? This is a nightmare. If I make $200 a day, I should have made 500. If I made 500 for the day, it should have been 1,000. And God damn it, when I make something decent, you know those trades are the ones I should be retiring on, like those dryers. I mean, geez, geez. What did I provide there on that Friday? That was a five, you made five times your money. That's ridiculous. And what did I do? I made a 50%. But I can't tell you. What am I going to tell you? And I love the haters. The people have no idea what the hell I'm talking about when they see me on see me on the YouTube. Who is this guy? What the? Why don't you blink every once in a while? You faggot. Faggot. I love when they call me faggot. I love that word. Because at this point, it doesn't mean anything anymore. I mean, some people take offense to it. I mean, it's just words. You take offense to words? Come on, there's so much more to be worried about. Man, when I, was, when I was growing up, I was the only Jew on the block. I had to go to Hebrew school, after school, okay? And the, 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 it was the Italian kids and the Greek kids just waiting for me to chase after me. Why? Because I was a Jew. They thought it was funny. Now, that's, that's a little bit more aggressive. I had to run for my life. Basically, what I did was I would go out in my backyard and jump over the fences to the corner so they couldn't catch me. And then I went my way home, I would jump back. It was like the Jew Underground Railroad. I would be jumping over fences to get to my yard and then appear on my porch saying, fuck you assholes, you missed me. And then they would pelt me with rocks and snowballs and stuff. That's something you gotta be worried about, but words? Come on now, come on now. But again, people wanna know, I got a lot of emails about, you know, how do you make money? It's not about that right now. It's about forming something. It's about coming together and spreading the word, spreading the love. That's right. Before I go clinically insane and just spontaneously combust, let me show you what I can provide. Hit the bid.net. Get into that chat room.
Ah! What am I even angry about? I don't even know sometimes. I'm gonna go. I don't think I've showered in four days. That's what happens. I just wake up in and out of comas. I have one long day and it ruins me for a week. I'm old. I'm old. That's what I'm saying. And now it's snowing out. I got to go out and shovel. Oh my God. Shovel. And I got a building out over here in Sheepshead Bay. You know why, Google. My boy from Sheepshead Bay who rips me every day. See, there are haters and there are fun haters. Why Google's a fun hater. He rips into me. It's fun stuff. But once you start crossing the line and start calling me names. I like the guy who says, you're a psycho. You haven't blinked in about three minutes during your video. And then I started watching all my videos. I don't blink. Maybe I'm a robot. I'm a cyborg. But this is going out to all the noobs. We're having a good time. That's what it's all about. It's all about, I'll be in the chat room, in and out of the chat room. I spew wisdom. Every once in a while, I bring it here right on the program. But do you want to stop? I don't want to stop giving stock picks. Because that's for investors. We're not investors anymore because this market is awful. You want to invest? You want to have faith? It's hard to have, it's hard enough having faith right now. I'm looking at, I'm looking at some buildings right now because the prices are really cheap. But I gotta have faith that they're not even getting even cheaper. Do I want to start putting money up to buy real estate at this point? I'm a scared, Norton. I'm a scared. Right now, what I'm concerned about: my brother-in-law is having a baby. <laughs> Not my brother-in-law in particular. You know what I'm saying. Brother-in-law and his wife having a child. I love my brother-in-law. He comes over. He's one of those touchy guys. You know, he touches you when he says hello. He gives you a back rub, quick back rub. You know, hey, how you doing? What's up? Haven't seen you in a while. How's everything going? You know, rubbing my shoulders, getting, you know. And some people get all freaked out. You know, you don't want anybody touching you. Me, I'm leaning back into it. Yeah. Oh, I need that. You know, because when I'm, you know, half naked, I don't want a man touching me on the massage parlor because, you know, how I feel about massages and all. But, you know, he's my brother-in-law. He's giving me a nice... So I'm leaning back into it. You know, one day I'm kind of... You know, and he, I wonder what he's thinking when I'm leaning back into it, moaning and groaning and getting into it for that, you know, that brief 10 seconds or something. You know, one day he's going to give me a reach around and then we'll have to, you know, start, uh, you know, asking each other questions. But... So it's snowing out. I wasn't going to work anyway. See, this is times I gotta sit down, I gotta look at what's happening, look at what I can enjoy. Right now, I'm gonna enjoy a snow day. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna build a snowman, but it might be that, that fluffy snow that we can't pack. It'll be really annoying. We'll just kick it around and shovel. I gotta shovel. My back's already hurting. Anyway. Where, where have I gone with this? The point is, I appreciate every single person that watches this show. I appreciate everybody that helped me spread the links. And if you spread my link, send me an email at jefferson at hitthebid.net because I want to talk to you. Because we got a, we got a, you know, linkage. That's what it's all about, right? And I got an email the other day, a guy who was doing a show about Sirius and XM, the merger. He called me, wanted me to be on the show. I got all, you know, I got chubby and I was all excited. I haven't spoke to you in three weeks. What happened? Is it me? Is it my face? Sometimes? I don't know. The bottom line is if you take yourself too serious, you might not want to watch this show. But if you're just a bottom line, if you're a bottom line kind of guy, and you don't want to sit there, do you want to see a chart in the background? You want to see graphics go by? You want to see like a chart appear on my face so you can look at the chart and see for yourself and learn? Or you can just watch my show, come to the chat room, and I can tell you I'm getting out of the stock and you can press a button and then make some money. I break it down to the lowest common denominator, okay? Because, well, first of all, I don't know how to put a chart up here, all right? I, I, I like these graphics because I'm the stay-at-home dad trader. Unite, baby. Unite. I'm here to give you guys money and I don't even know what to say. What the hell am I saying at this point?